Hello and welcome to ITRM. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Phoenix OS to a Windows 10 machine that is configured for UEFI boot mode and in the previous video I showed you how to install on a legacy mode. So I'm going to show you first of all the configuration. So you can see that this is a Dell desktop and this is in boot BIOS mode as UEFI and I have enabled secure boot also. So now when I run the setup just double click. I have downloaded. You can go to phoenixos.com and you can download. I showed you the link in the previous video. Okay, so I say the smart screen cannot be reached because I'm offline. So I go ahead and accept the UAC. And I want to do the installation. And I have, I want to just install on the C drive. I want to keep it small. So 4 gigs is okay. Install and now the installation is going on and I'll be back once the installation is done Okay, so installation is done. I can see it's showing me a message that says that secure boot is enabled and you need to go to the firmware settings to disable secure boot so uh, Click on ok and I will go to the firmware to disable the boot so to disable the secure boot so go to the settings update recovery restart now And I want to troubleshoot advanced settings, UEFI firmware settings, and restart. Okay, so here I'm on my firmware settings. I go need to go on to secure boot. So you just need to figure it out in your BIOS. It may be in some different location. Uh, over here, I have secure boot and is enabled. I'll just click on disabled. Okay, yes, and apply. Exit. Okay, so now I got the GNU grub and from here I need to go to Phoenix. So I'll press the down arrow key and enter. So now it's booting off the Phoenix OS. Okay, so finally I get the, the setup screen and I select the language from here, United States. Next. I accept the license agreement. I want to skip the network. Skip anyway. And keep the default name, account name. And finally I get to the desktop. So this is how we can do the installation of Phoenix OS on a UEFI based system. So in case if you have any problem with the driver, for example, when you restart into Phoenix, it just gets stuck at the command prompt. It doesn't load the GUI. So it may be you have problem with some graphics driver, the, the graphics card you are having that might be quite old, or you may have problem with other devices like mouse or network card. So that was all about how to install Phoenix OS on UEFI system. So hope you found this video useful. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.